Hi, it's Preston from the Networker blog. Today, what I want to do is show you just how easy it is for a networker administrator and a VMware administrator to work together on setting up protection policies for virtual machines and then adding those virtual machines. So what I'm going to do is step through the process of the networker administrator first creating the appropriate policies for the VMware administrator and then the VMware administrator assigning virtual machines to those policies from within vSphere. Now that's something the networker administrator can also do from within NN. MC, but often we are seeing more and more environments where the VMware administrators want to or need to be involved in the configuration of protection policies. So this lets you see how it works from the VMware admin's perspective as well. So first off, what I'm going to do is log into my Networker Administrator console. If I remember the password. Now that I'm in the Networker Admin console, what I want to do is actually go into the Networker Administration for the Networker server itself, rather than the uh, see the data domains that are configured. So I'll launch Networker Administration. And here I am in the Protection view. So this is basically where we get to see the different policies that are established within Networker and the groups and schedules and even the VMware view as well. If I expand out the policies area here, you'll see that we've got a few different policies already. Um, we have a dedicated VMware policy that was just set up for some testing. We've got a silver VMware policy as well. And what I want to do as the networker administrator here now is create a bronze networker uh, VMware policy. So the bronze policy area itself is actually empty at this point in time. So what I want to do is create a new workflow and I'm going to call that virtual machines. Now, in this case, because it's a bronze policy, it's going to be set up in, on the basis of not automatically starting. This might be something that the VMware administrator just invokes when they need to do some protection of some um, third level machines within an environment. So we'll leave it enabled, but leave auto start disabled. So we have to create a group as part of this process. So we'll create a group here, but we'll actually leave it unpopulated. So all we need to do here is change the group type to VMware select the vCenter and then hit OK. So we don't actually have to put any virtual machines in the group as part of this creation process. Next what we want to do is add a protection, uh, protection action which in this case will be a backup action. Now this is again the idea of a bronze workflow so it's not necessarily something that we're intending to keep for a long time so we're going to configure it to just do virtual machine backups with a week's retention time. So I'll add that now uh, it's automatically called it backup and I'm happy with that selection and uh, the action is enabled. It's a VMware backup type because we'd already selected what sort of group we wanted and we can see there that we've got incremental backups every day of the week. So that's fine. We're ready to continue there. What we now need to do is choose what our storage node is and our retention time is. The storage node is fine but I'm going to reduce the retention time to one week's. We've got the option there for automatic vProxy selection or manual vProxy selection. Now in some cases you want to set that to manual vProxy selection, but for the most part automatic vProxy selection is fine. So we'll click next to continue there. Now, because this is a bronze policy, I don't necessarily want that bronze policy to be using too many resources on the networker server. So as the networker administrator, I'm going to reduce parallelism here down to 15. So that basically means that this policy can't consume more than 15 units of parallelism on the server. As well, because it is a bronze policy, it doesn't really matter if there is an issue here, so I'm going to reduce the retries down to zero. So this is all about, as the networker administrator, setting guidelines on how backup policies are going to work. So as the networker admin, you're still in charge, even when you're handing over aspects of uh, configuration and backup initiation to your VMware admins. So the rest of those settings there we can leave as is, and we'll click Next. And now we get the notification that Networker is about to create a new action for us. So we'll click Configure there, and then OK. And now we have a Virtual Machines Backup Policy. And you can see here as well, this is just always worthwhile noting in Networker 9, these visual representations down here of your policies actually are editable in themselves. So you can right-click there on the group, 
sorry, on the pool that we're going to and edit that pool if you want to. Now I don't want to change the pool at that point in time, but I think it's a handy way to make quick changes to configuration that a lot of people don't necessarily realize are there. So keep that in mind. So we've got a group, we've got a um, policy set up, we've got a workflow and the appropriate action set up. Now let's say that it's time for the VMware admin to actually assign a client or a host to this protection policy. So if we jump across to vSphere web client, now we're in a situation where we've logged on to vSphere web client and the VMware admin would go down to VM backup and recovery. Don't worry too much about the EMC backup and recovery. That's a remnant from the old VBA plugin and I've got that there for some leftover testing in my lab. So we'll go to VMware, uh, VM backup and recovery. Now it's, it's already logged in here because I'd already logged on just before. And if we go across to the backup tab here, so this is again acting as the backup, the, the VMware administrator here. If we go across to the backup tab, we'll see that that bronze policy is already populated in here. So we didn't actually have to do very much work. We didn't have to refresh or anything. By the time we got in here, it was already ready and available. So if we click on that policy, we actually get to see the details of the policy. And then if we edit the policy, we can choose which virtual machines we want to add into the policy. In this case, as a VMware admin, this is a bronze policy. I'm aware that it's not going to have very much um, protection in it. What I want to do is just add a single virtual machine to it. So I'll add that virtual machine and click finish. And it tells me that the changes are actually there and ready to go now. So now what I want to do is actually start the policy as well. So all I have to do is select the policy again and click back up now. And we get a, cho get a choice between backing up all sources and or out of date sources. This is a new policy, so we'll choose all sources. And now we actually get to see that the backup has been initiated. Now, what we can do is go over into the Networker Admin Console here and just see what the, that backup policy looks like from a monitoring point of view. So we see here that there is a save process being initiated for the virtual machine that we actually chose, test 06. If we come back, what we'll see here in the vSphere console is that the virtual machine snapshot is being, has been taken and that the networker backup is now in operation. And when that backup completes, that will actually be cleared out of the running tasks list and the active task list. So that's really all that's involved. You can see there that it's very easy for a networker administrator and a VMware administrator to work together to create actual backup policies from a networker perspective and then populate those policies at the VMware administrator level so that you get the two different groups working in tandem. You get networker still having control over the overall backup policies and you get the VMware team able to actually interact with the backup process and select the clients that they want to have backed up. Hope that's been helpful.